All right, so here we are on day 29, and um, I have a bunch of stuff that's kind of a bunch of stuff, so I don't know exactly how to count it, but um, somewhere along the line, we're definitely going to call it 29, whatever. So um, I found a bag of bags. These are... These are like the cute little kind of bags. You know how like sometimes like little rocks or jewelry or cute little things will come in little like cloth bags and um, you know, like this is a little knitted rainbow one I really like. It's so cute and adorable and there's a big fat one with cute skulls on it and stuff. So, you know, it just seems like these must be good for something. Something can go in these bags. And like, yeah, maybe something can go in these bags, but apparently not in this house. You know, these bags just go in a bag and then, and then what? So it's time to let these bags go. There's 11 of them in here. I think I'll put them up for grabs um, on the buy nothing group. And then if, if no takers, then just gonna let them go. And then this rain jacket. I kind of love this rain jacket because it's served me so well for the last 10 years or so. Um, it doesn't rain that much around here, but whenever it does, my rain jacket does the trick. Thing is, the last couple of years, it has slowly started to degrade and sprung, not a big leak, but a little bit of a leak. So, um, so finally this year, I bought a brand new rain jacket. I bought the best, best rated rain jacket out there. The trouble is they were having a big sale and the black ones weren't on sale. So I got one that wasn't black. It's still dark enough, but it wasn't black. So, so it's extra hard to let go of my black rain jacket because it's like, oh, but this one is black. Maybe if it's not raining very hard, I'll just wear this one. I just gotta let it go. The point of a rain jacket is to protect you from the rain. If I cared so much about it having to be black, I should have spent the extra money on the black one, but I didn't, so just gotta let it go. Maybe this will be a good exercise in um, ego dissolving or something. I don't know. But anyway, just wanted to share. It's really hard to let go of black things. When something new comes in, gotta get rid of the old thing that the new thing was replacing. And then I've got this cute little box. Wouldn't this box be great for something? It used to have tea in it and now it has nothing in it. Um, but wouldn't it be great for something? Sure, it would be great for something, but it hasn't been doing anything except sitting on a shelf in my closet for easily more than a year. Um, so I gotta let it go. Random little great boxes appear all the time. As great as it may be, it's going away. And here's another one. Isn't this cute? Look at that face. It's just, you know, it's just a generic Christmas cookie tin. But it's perfect for cookies, so maybe I should save it for next year, because if I make cookies for somebody, then I can put them in this tin and give it to them. Um, but I don't actually make cookies for people. It's not what I do. Um, but wouldn't it make a great sewing tin? But I don't sew. But something, it's perfect for something, but maybe not for me. I think there's enough of these in the world. So I'm gonna let it go. Also, I'm decluttering a bunch of phone screen repair kits and um, a phone case. So this phone case is like new in the thing. And I think what happened was I accidentally bought one for a phone for the office or something. And I thought I didn't have one, but I did have one. Or maybe I bought one from the wrong model. I, I don't know, but this is an extra one. And you know, funny thing about phones and phone cases, if you have a good phone case, you usually don't need a spare because the case doesn't usually break. So I just gotta let it go. And here's a box of what I thought was a spare screen protector for my phone, but it turns out it's an empty box that I was just storing there. So, and then here's the box that I was like, oh, it's definitely in this box. It's also an empty box. That's silly. And so here is a real screen protector, 
but this is for iPhone 6, 7, and 8, which I don't have anymore. So this needs to go away. And here's another just cute little bag that I got as a promotion somewhere. And it's, it's such a useful little bag. All sorts of things could go in it. It's even got a zipper, it's cloth, it's durable, but, um, but nothing has gone into this bag in the five, six, seven, eight years I've had it. I don't know how long I've had it, but years. So time to let it go along with the other little bags. Also, I discovered that it's a good idea to revisit areas that you think you decluttered because you now have different decluttering eyes, I guess. I thought that my DVDs and my CDs were really decluttered um, because they fit in such a small space now. But when I looked at them today, I easily pulled out 17 more things out of that space. 17 CDs and DVDs. So even if you think you decluttered something, just circle back and look again. Um, the stronger your decluttering muscle and eyes get, the more you will be able to declutter.